Can you talk us through it while you're watching it? Sure. <laughs> so you're just riding along. Yeah. Trying to spin a one. <laughs> she's pretty good there. She's got a little bent, but she's, you know, she's pretty good. She likes to rub her knee after she spins, so I just let her. Keeps her calm. <laughs> That was pretty nice. <clears throat> you know, she, like she got around there pretty quick and got stopped, you know, like pretty square and uh, probably a plus one turn there. And then when I loped off, then I looked down and fell apart. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little right there. I don't know what happened. And, and then see, I got, I got disqualified right there because I got two hands on the ring. So you had eventually to reach down and pick up the headstone? Yeah, because I didn't know if it was going to... Yeah, so I just said, you know, what the heck, she, she's pretty honest. So I thought if I to end up on a good note, this was her last run, and so... And then, uh, and then she, uh, she came back really nice. She just carries her frame really good. I mean, naturally, she's always been like that. And you know her well enough to know. Yeah, I've been, you know, yeah, like, uh, I've been the only one on her for the last year and a half, uh, but I have shown her quite a bit. We uh, were just loping here. Oh, no. <laughs> my last run. I'm not going to cruise through here. My, my goal is to With mark huge. Yeah. <laughs> my goal is to mark huge, so, you know, I wanted to show everybody that she is a nice horse. And the crowd is loving it. I, you know, I don't pay attention to the crowd. <laughs> I try to focus on my job. <laughs> I hear loud noises and soft noises. I don't hear... <laughs> Uh, she did that really nice. I like, you know, I square my corners off. She waited, and I send her. And she rolled back. <laughs> you know, so that was really nice. You know, that was a good solid one. Without the bridle, they could give me a one and a half. <laughs> you know? Martin said he thought she almost stopped better without a bridle. Yeah, well, you know. Some of, the, some of these pilots, they get in their horse's way all the time. <laughs> There we go. Another plus one and one half. <laughs> she was awesome there. <laughs> so, you see how she just kind of relaxed and stayed back. So your last stop ever on this horse. Yeah, so I send her a little harder. Yeah, pretty big. Awesome. How proud are you of this man? Ah, she's awesome, you know. She, uh, I was just hoping I, <laughs> you know, I hope her babies are the same way. I got one for the maturity next year out of her, so I'm hoping I can get her going as good as this one goes. <laughs> right. Well, I think your peers love it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. For the crowd, I saw the, all, the, all those trainers here watch. I think it was pretty fun, yeah. pretty nice, yeah. I feel bad for, for them because he could do really good with that mare. You know, that accident is, is, is happen. If it happened with me like that, I think the horse can go straight to Hall of Fame. <laughs> uh, I caught the, the second half of the run uh, from the alley over there, and as soon as I realized what was going on, I climbed up on the perimeter fence there to try to see the action live, and uh, I, I am just constantly amazed at that little mare and you know um, how successful she's been and you know Dan's done a great job with her obviously he had a ton of success at the WEG this year and um, you know I feel badly for Dan I'm sure if that was truly her last run that he wanted to go you know be the winner but I think um, you know what happened in there was unfortunate but it just shows you know how nice you know 
how that mare is and what a good foundation these reining horses have and how good minded they can be and um, regardless if um, you know he might not have been the winner tonight but uh, at the show but I guarantee you he wins social media tomorrow so <laughs> I saw you watched the very last part of you said I think she stopped better without the bride I, I that's what I told him but I don't know maybe this wasn't <laughs> I was just so excited when I watched it. It's like one of those things that do this professional and you just, it's like, wow, this is unbelievable. This is, I don't know, I can't, exp you were here. It was just the electricity in the air. It was fantastic. It's, if you tell somebody, they're like, yeah, sure. But being there when it happened, it was something else. And I think Danny really Tonight, showed what that mare is made of and what he is made of. It certainly was uh, something special to be seen. Did you see any of, because you had two horses to get ready, yeah, so you I might not. on the video, that was pretty amazing. So I give him the world championship just because of that, not to take anything away from anybody else, but anybody that's got uh, testicles enough to go and, <laughs> and grab the bridle and go faster <laughs> and, and be that good, I, I give it up to him. That's going to be a legendary. Oh, for sure. That's going to be something that, uh, that we're going to show to, to a lot of people later on and, uh, and show you know, people that tell us how we force our horses and how they don't want to do their job and we're the ones that submit them to do their job. That shows if a horse didn't want to do their job, they wouldn't be go putting their ears up and going and stopping plus one three times in a row without anything in their mouth. So to me, it just shows that these horses, they like what they're doing. Oh, I mean, it tells you everything how incredible they are. It's they give all those horses here, every 15 of one of them tonight in the finals. It's, it's just great. They they give you everything they have, and obviously we take great care of them. But still, they go and, and they love to compete. I honestly think so if that was would have had any bad thought in her okay, mind, she would have been gone. She she loves it. She just so went guys, and competed harder for him. It was great. I mean, if she would have won, I think it would have been great for them. But I, everybody will remember that run. Everybody will remember that run. It was just something else, and for them to keep on going. I must say, he, he was the cowboy of the night. You know, that's a pretty unique situation. You know, nobody wants that to happen uh, to yourself. And um, But he kept going, so that's um, really special. He, he knew he was going to be a zero. He grabbed two hands, and he still showed what amazing horse that one is. And, I mean, we want to... We want to see what happened and how, how he did, and it was amazing. Yeah. So what was the response from everybody when you finished watching? Well, we just, we just congratulate them, you know, and then the owners and all that, because that, that's, you know, she couldn't have won this, and, and, uh, um, and it didn't. But like I said, might, this might be even more uh, famous situation than, than my title. <laughs>